Welcome back everyone for the next part of Tales of Vesperia. In the last part we saved Estelle, had a little talk with Flynn, and in this part there are actually a quite a lot of side quests we need to finish up, like hunting down some monsters, visiting the Colosseum, the Sand of Kogor, Mount Temza, the Thing, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Anyways, first of all, we need to leave the the capital and probably reunite with our team. So, let's see where they are. Also, it's really quiet right now. Where's the music, I wonder? I can hear the water, at least. We are meeting at the town's entrance. So I'm not allowed to go to the lower quarter. Good to know. Hi, guys. Morning, Yuri. Morning. Yuri, you're such a sleepyhead. <sighs> Looks like I overslept a little. My hair is a mess. Oh, don't worry about it. Your helmet covers everything neatly. Is that all you're worried about? <laughs> Sounds like we're all good. Well Here done. Go. Oh. Thanks. Huh. You pulled it off. Now we just need Judy and Estelle. Here I am. Good morning, everyone. Judy! Oh, morning, Judith. Were you able to get in touch with Pharaoh? Yes, but you won't like what he told me about Zauda. Oh? He says it's a place that must be left undisturbed by both into Lakea and humans. I wonder why. Did he say anything about Such that? Such an encouraging send-off. Well, it's not like we can just say, oh, thanks for telling us, and not go. But if Alexa is already on his way, we need to go there and stop him, Alexa right? Alexa says it's Zaude, and I'm really not in the mood to just let him go. We can't just turn back now. You're right. Pharaoh will have to understand. We already came this far. We can't stop now. True. Besides, if we just ignore him, the whole world's gonna be in all kinds of trouble. If that really is a weapon. That's the spirit. Now we just need Estelle. Rita, did you see her? Estelle won't be coming. Hmm? Well, she can't. She can't fight anymore. Wait, you don't mean... The control was a success, but she needs to avoid air interference in order to keep her power from activating. Huh? But all Blastia need air to work, don't they? Yes. So I tried the same thing as Raven. Using her own life energy for power. Oh! Are you serious? I really wouldn't recommend that. I couldn't find any other way. At least she can use formulas without worrying about air. But it's not just controlling the power of the child of the full moon. Even Arts will use her life. Oh! She could be in serious danger if she had to exert herself. Oh no! So she won't be coming with us anymore. And was she okay with that? Probably not. No. <laughs> of Estelle. course. Hey, y you're just here to see us off, right? Rita, I'm sorry. Please take me with you. What did I tell you? You lose your life just by using your arts. You could go on living with no problem if you just wouldn't use them. I sat up all night thinking about what you told me. At first I thought, finally, I'll be able to live a normal life. Yeah, you've suffered enough. You can rest now. Thank you, Rita. You all are risking your lives to fight. Even the fate of this world is at stake. What are you trying to Knowing say? that, my only choice is to fight alongside you. But even if we do that, we aren't using our life force to do so. So... At the end, you could have died from that journey. Estelle, there are still things I can do for my friends. So I'm asking you, please, take me with you. I want to tell you now, but you decided this for yourself. I won't turn you down. Yes, and she doesn't really listen when she sets her mind to something. True. Ah, well, let's take her. Nobody likes having their friends run off to steal all the fun. True. Yeah, we'll all help out to make this easy on her. We're gonna blow that scoundrel away! 
promise me one thing. You will never, never push yourself too hard. Got it? She will not keep that promise, Rita. You know that. You know her really well. I'll never forgive you if you break that promise. Oh. All right. <laughs> Trying to forbid this bunch from pushing themselves is pretty pointless. True. Also, Carol, what are you trying to do there with Rita? See? Thank goodness. It looks like I made it in time. Huh? Huh? Why? Prince Yoder and Flynn too? Why are you two here? My, what an honor for his highness to see us off himself. There you go again with that attitude of yours. Oh, come on. That's why we love him, right, Flynn? You may have already heard, but the supply of ships has been delayed. So the knights are not yet able to leave for battle. Under uh -huh. normal circumstances, the knights should be the ones taking the initiative here. But you civilians have shouldered it. Yeah. As head of the Empire, I must apologize. Don't sweat it. It's not like we're doing this for the knights or for the Empire anyway. We are doing it for the world itself. This may be a bit presumptuous, but I would like to ask that you take Flynn in their place. <gasps> oh my god, am I going to get my screw, pre uh, screw president back? Huh? Am yes. I? Yes? At this moment, both in name and in substance, Flynn is the greatest knight in the Empire. I am sure that he will be of great use to you. Wouldn't you agree? What? But I... I must command the knights. As soon as the knights are ready, I will send them after you. You should be able to entrust your men with that much. Sure. Besides, are you not the one who desires most to settle things personally with Alexei? Your Highness. I, Eodor Argrios Hirasane, hereby command you on behalf of the Empire, Imperial Knight Flynn Shifo. Join forces with the guild, brave Vesperia, and stop Alexei. Do you know how rarely that ever happens that the knights and the Imperial are joining forces with the guild? Do you know what you're saying, Yoda? <laughs> yes, sir. Oh my god. Well, at least now I have my Flynn. Highness. I'll be counting on you, Yuri. At least now I have my Flynn back. Even if I refused, you'd still come along, wouldn't you? Of course. So our next problem is just how to go about actually getting to Sauda. That's already been handled, right, Judy? Yes, of course. We still have that important friend of ours. True. But uh, is he okay? I told you, he's strong. Yep. We'll be able to use the Fiertia in no time. So everything's ready. This is it, the final battle. Yeah. Yeah. The final battle. Determined Princess title. And everyone is back. And you know what that means. Once there's the final, we have a lot of side quests to do. And Patty changed form. Cerebral form! You're dead in the water! Put some spirit into it! Hmm? What are you up to? Well, you know how Patty switches up her fighting style in the middle of battle? Uh-huh. We thought we might be able to do the same thing, so we asked for a lesson. I don't think that's something that can be taught. You have to be born with a style that unique. No, Yuri! You start practicing with the others. You can never know until you at least try. Sure. I'm not so sure. Nonsense! Keep a positive mental attitude. Hmm, you could be right. Here goes. Cr critical form! Ha <laughs> Victory is mine! We lost! Yuri, this is all your fault! What? You <laughs> critical like that? I thought you played it cooler than that. Carolyn Raven, you owe me your gels for a while. Yuri, you get a thank you kiss. Aww. You were betting on me? Aww? <laughs> Seriously? Also, what's wrong with critical form? Critical is usually the best form, right? Everyone loves crits. Anyways, let me check my... my notepad. Oh god, there are a lot of monsters I need to hunt. A pain corn, a EX, rhino, something, a flora mentis, venomy, clebbit, a lot of colosseum monsters. Oh god. 
must have 600. Oh my god, did I even cook that much with Patty? Of course not! Does she even have anything mastered? Oh, shoot! Okay, there's a... there's a... There's a mission I cannot do because Patty... Patty needs to cook stuff. So, uh, uh Patty... You are... you are hereby. Uh... Your job from now on is to... Is to cook everything, I guess. Uh, yeah. I'm going to do this off screen, I guess. Let's get something like sorbet for some TP recovery. Raven is so close to mastering that I'm going to finish it up with him, and the rest should be fine, right? Yeah. Oh, there's something on the ground. Give me that. Thank you, baby. Oh, there are. There's more! Why did I click that? Give me that. All for you. Yuri, you're really good at cooking. But I bet Carol is pretty handy around the kitchen too. Your tongue is too loose for comfort, Flynn. Handy is dandy, but if it's not done by the cookbook, I ain't having it. You can always do it yourself, you know. You say you don't like the job, but you're pretty skilled at it. The ladies love a man who can cook. True. No way. If that were true, I'd be the coolest guy around. Seriously, it's true. Even if it doesn't make me cool, I guess I'm happy just to have other people enjoy my cooking. True. It really beats cooking and eating alone. It's nice watching a lady enjoy a good meal. I could care less about guys. Next time I cook for you, Raven, all you're getting is a butter sandwich. Nah, yeah. Spreading butter is too much work. Just give them the crusts. What sure. happened to being happy about other people enjoying your cooking? <laughs> oh, man. But good that now we finally get some cooking skits. Anyways, I'm going to see you guys at not a polica. I guess. Oh my god, it's a bar house. Yeah, I'm going to see you guys in not a polica. Oh shoot, what did I do? What did I do? I just wanted to so fly across the sea. It. No! No, I didn't want to go it's there. Shaped like a ring. Oh, come on! Anybody with fingers big enough for that wouldn't have any trouble taking over the world. True. There's no way Alexei could fit that on his finger. Hopefully. I wonder if we'll get in without being seen. Not with Paul. Oh, look! Over there! Pharaoh. Uh-oh. What are you doing, Pharaoh? Don't do something crazy! What are you doing? What? Pharaoh is getting repelled. He's... But Pharaoh's one of the strongest in Delakea. And even he couldn't do anything to it. What did we get ourselves into? It reconstituted itself by manipulating the air. What processing speed? Is that the power Alexei was after? Let's go in from below. Pharaoh's doing all the work. But at least he's got Alexei looking up for now. Pharaoh... Thank you. Oh. But I don't want to go inside! I just want to go to Nautopolica! No! No! No, Nautopolica! Uh, um... Our forms are wreathed in glittering air. What? We run like a flash of light over the land! Defeating evil with grace and finesse. Traveling the world to help those in need. Break against our shield. Our endless kindness brightens the world. What? Unite in glory, Great Overdrive Brigade Vesperia. Witness, Witness our combined, combined power. power. What the hell? What are you doing? Hi, Rita. 
We're just practicing our lines for when we ride repeat. What? There's a line for you too, Rita. Want to try it? It's, you know, a pretty good one. I guess. Huh? Uh, hmm. Huh? What? Which line? Which line do you guys have for her? Can I pretty much fly? God damn it! So, what I actually wanted to do here is complete 30, 50, 80 man challenge with one character. No thanks. But there's something else I wanna do, like the, the warehouse is somewhere. I'm not quite sure where it is, but I'm going to find it any second now. Where the hell is it you? Okay, you wouldn't happen to be very Vesperia, would you? Oh, yes we are! Uh, Brave Vesperia is who we are. Our warehouse is flooded with new shipment and we haven't been able to tidy it up. Oh no, your specialty, can you help us? It's not our specialty. But if there's something we can get from it, then we're going to do it. Oh god, it's riddle time! Are you guys ready? Because I'm not. So, the only thing I can do right now is pull this one or push this one. If I pull it, I'm stuck. So, pushing it is. So, the only thing I can do with you right now is nothing. But I can also go to the other side. You know what? I'm just going to follow the script for now. If it's not going to work out, then I'm just going to go to the other side next. Oh, 
Oh, he hate it. I hate it so much. It's unbelievable. to the left and get to the treasure chest and that would be all right perfect oh god I hate it I hate it that took way too long that took way too long thanks I appreciate it here's a little something for you wow thanks brave Vesperia Hey, you did say that, Brave Vesperia, just now. Did you not? Just what is that supposed to mean? Well, it's whatever you like for it to mean. I thought so. I, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Huh. Hey, it's you guys. Thanks for the other day. You guys were great help. You're welcome, but <laughs> I don't want to do any more warehouses. Ah... Uh, we are we're going to do a Colosseum fights now. Yeah. Those are at least some kind of fun. But 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 but, but I know that those are really hard, so uh We're going to do them on easy. Yeah. 
Yeah. And we need to do the... 30, 50 and 80 with one character. I think 30 I already completed, right? So let's do 80. Uh, 50 with Yuri. Yes. Alright. So Pharaoh's been absorbing air too. Is he trying to restabilize it? Probably. We owe him one for keeping the fight up this long. No, I don't think that's it. My guess is he's taking in all that air to disable Zaude's power source. That way he'll be able to mess with Alexei's plans, right? Right. Right, Judith? Who? Me? What was the question? Never mind. She's worried. It'll be easy if we can just get inside. We'll stop everything in one shot. Judy. Wish it were that easy, kid. But we'll be up to our ears in traps and royal guards. Gotta admire his confidence. Do you really mean that? Judy, what's wrong? Pharaoh, please be okay. Oh. Yeah, I know that you're worried. And I know we are actually supposed to go there. But there is so much stuff we need to do. Like the 50 and... 80 Colosseum challenge, which I'm going to do really quick on easy. So uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry, but I need to do it like this. I, I cannot beat it on normal. I know I'm going to fail on normal because they're really hard, and I can't do it. I'm sorry, but I'm going to destroy them right now on easy. Take this and take this and take this and take. This and take this. How about you? I already have you. Take this and take this and take this and take this. Oh my god, take this. <laughs> this is just getting ridiculous. I mean, come on, come on. Oh my god, June, what are you doing here, huh? Here, take this. <laughs> Hello, my buddy. This is a good warm up. That was easy. Congratulations! You've beaten all 50 opponents. We have a fantastic prize for our challenger, Yuri. You are only halfway to the real goal. You must challenge. Uh, you should challenge the next level. Thanks. I think I already did that before. Oh well. When someone as strong as Pharaoh tells you not to go messing with Zauda, it makes you wonder. I wish he'd use regular words when he talked, though. Definitely. If it's really all that dangerous, you'd think he'd want to make himself clear. Maybe it was something Pharaoh had difficulty expressing in his own way. He did take the time to warn us. That shows at least some concern for our well-being, right? You mean that maybe he's warmed up to us a bit? Yes. Probably. But who knows, right? Anyways, why are you guys keep telling me about that? I I want to do some side quests. I don't know if those are time restricted side quests, you know? It would be bad if they are. So I want to do that before going to Zelda. So let's do the, the, the 80 man challenge. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm going to go inside. Let's do it the easy way. Welcome to the Palace Rita famous 80 man melee. This level separates the calf from the wheat. Is our challenger a brave hero or a reckless fool? Fight after fight after fight, 80 opponents defeated. Who would have imagined it? Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the brave car. Our brave challenger today is the former wanted criminal and current hero of the guild West Barrier. Let's hear it for True Night Yuri. Woo! Prepare yourself. The end may be near. Ready? Fight. Oh god. I don't think that's going to be a challenge. After all, the first 50 are going to be exactly the same. Exactly the same. It's not going to be a challenge. Wait, magic. Destruction 
Come on, don't do this. There's no reason for you to do this. Ouch! Witch! What are you trying to pull here? Just because I'm not looking at you, do you think I'm allowing you to use any kind of magic against me? Are you crazy? There! Crushing Eagle! For everyone! Hello Witch, I, I think I already told you that I will not allow you to use any kind of magic against me. How often do I need to tell you that? Oh, so annoying with you guys going on and circling around me. Imagine if I didn't have my perfect guard and you guys could just poke me in the butt to prevent me from attacking. Do you know how annoying that would be? Do you have even any idea? Oh, you two again? Come on. Are you sure about that? I'm not criminal, am I again? Oh, you actually managed to... Wow, incredible. How powerful you are. Oh, come on, I'm just going to use this. I don't even need to actually guard against anything. Would you guys be so kind to stop this useless biggering? Man! First of all, let me get this one for me. Thank you very much. Then we have this for you. One for everyone. Two for everyone. If you wouldn't run away like always. It's so annoying if they try to run away from you. Especially if I could just stun lock them like this. Oh, come on. Please. Please. Now the quick ones are going for it. It's such a joke, you guys. Come, just circle around me, please. I don't mind. I'm just a, I'm just a tank doing his thing, you know? Do I already have you? Yes, I have you. Okay. Just don't mind me. I'm doing my thing over here. Let me eat one more gel. Oh, I have 12 minutes. What am I going to do with all that time? I already beat half of you. Wait, what? <laughs> I forgot about stone. I forgot about stone. Seriously? Money seems to disappear before you know it. No, it disappears because you use it. Sure, but if you only use a little at a time, you don't realize how much you're spending. I guess we've been spending a little too much. What do you mean? We need to spend more. Really? But why? The more gold we spend, the more it comes back to us. And it brings its friends, too. R really How interesting. Huh? Rita, your name's on this money. Exactly. I've been writing my name on our gold so we'll know when it comes back to us. And when it does come back, I bet it'll have doubled at least. So go on, use it. <laughs> what a lovely little fairy tale. Oh, that's so cute. But uh, I might want to get something against the uh, stone if I have something against that. Oh well, I'm just gonna do it again. I just need to wear, uh, be careful around those those guys with the with the beak in the 50 challenge. That's fine. I'm going to see you guys. No, not retire. Are you crazy? Anyways, I'm going to see you guys once we reach the 50 man challenge again. There we go. Now we're safe. There's no need to worry anymore because that annoying stone guy is dead. Come on, don't do this. Don't try to annoy me. Would you be so kind? One, two, three. There we go. Now we go to the next round. And we do not have them. So magic land snow spirit. Thank you. Let's take her of the fire spirit first. 
Don't jump around like this. What's wrong with you? Are you making it fun? Do you think you're allowed to have fun without me? Would you be so kind and not do this? Wow! He can explode himself. That's good to know. Also, I don't think I have those fire beds. So, oh, yes, yes, I have. Okay, fine. Let's, uh, I don't know. Just take care of them first. It's not like they are so bad, right? Just a lot of them. Just a lot of them, like a serious lot of them. Look at all of those extra knights going around. At least now they do some kind of damage. Not much, but at least some kind of. Come on. Don't be so annoying. So many monsters going on. Don't do anything against me. Wait. A skunky. We do not have that yet, so magic lens. Looks adorable. But who knows, maybe... Oh, why do you keep exploding like this? Are you stupid? What HP does it have? I do this. Oh, come on. I need to get something against that, that thing. Against my arts. Because it's, it's annoying if I don't can if I cannot use my why are you attacking that thing? I wanna attack those things. Crushing Eagle, you know? Crushing Eagle! Crushing Eagle! There we go! Stop using annoying stuff like this! What this? Oh my god! Oh my god! Why are they- I need to get rid of those bats. It's just way too annoying. Look at them. Uh, give me a minute. I need a melon shell. For my recovery and all. And now there should be something interesting coming up, right? What the hell is that thing? Super study. Level 38, uh, 38. Not so bad. Then we have uh, a Unison. Looks a little bit worse. At least it's able to do some damage. Right? As long as they are able to do some damage, it's kind of interesting. Uh, Aquitz, you. Oh, that's not so bad. Let's just do this a few times, and that should be fine. That should kill them all, right? Lemon gel. One, two, three. Wait. Let's take care of the three that's first. Ooh, they can do damage, yeah. I need to take care of them first. I need to take care of them first, please. Don't do this! Are you kidding me? They are, they are comboing me down! Are you serious right now? Oh my god! I blow you away, huh? Come here, you! You druid! How dare you! Where is it? 
There it is! Come on! How dare you do this to me! You... You evil little... Come on! You think I'm going to allow this to happen again? Are you crazy? Oh my god! And hi Augustus! What's up with you, level 50, huh? Fine! You're not clearly as annoying as the treats right now! Look at you! So annoying! What's up with you? That was some God! God! Way too many monsters! Congratulations, yeah! I'm at a loss of our world! Our challenger has managed to emerge victorious despite the overwhelming odds and the magic spam of three mages! We have a fantastic prize for our challenger! You finally made it! One more level to go! Our one true hope for conquering the legendary 100 man melee stands before us! Challenger, show, show us what you can do! Do I need to do the 100 as well? Do I? Looking at Flynn, I can say, there's a knight captain. But it's really hard to picture Raven in charge of a bunch of knights. I don't think it's possible until he gets rid of that shady aura he carries around. It could be that he's only concealing his knightly dignity to complete his disguise as Raven. I don't know if he and Dignity have even been in the same room together. <laughs> Captain Schwann was a man of grace and honor. His skills were renowned, which kept him on constant secret missions. Every knight knew his name, and nearly everyone envied his ability to carry out his duties with poise. Huh? Is that true? And while he was scrupulous, he knew how to care for those under him, so he always had their trust. Oh. After seeing three of them, I can see he was well-liked. The more I hear about him, the further he seems from that old man. True. That's why I'm telling you, I'm not Schwan. <laughs> when did he get here? Listen to yourselves, carrying on as though nobody's around. But sometimes you do say things that Captain Schwan would. You continue to carry his quality, however quiet. Knock <laughs> that off, would you? Oh, Raven, don't try to hide it. We all know that you're Schwan. So, I'm not sure why I had the notes to go to the Colosseum, because I thought there would be a cutscene! But I guess now that I was too close to Sauda, that might have cancelled it out a bit. Oh well, I'm going to save over here. And let's see if I'm able to fly. I want to fly. Hopefully I can do it. Because it would be really bad just because I got too close to it that I'm unable to fly across the sea like I wanted to actually do, you know? So annoying. So annoying. Let me go to this side. Let me try to fly. I cannot... Yes, I can fly. Perfect. Okay. Our next trip is... Mount Temza. Raven? Hmm? What you need, lad? I know this is a subject you would like to avoid, but I want to ask you something as a... <laughs> oh my god. Why would Schwan obey Alexei's orders, is it? I cannot believe Captain Schwan would be so blind as to miss the nefariousness of Alexei's deeds. You put too much stock into Schwan. His head was as empty as a tin soldier's. The Schwan that would fulfill his duty like a puppet died a decade ago. That would not change, even if he knew what he does now? Well, I don't think he would have seen a Blasty of that size coming. But he still might have followed Alexei to the last. But you never can know, can you? Is the reason you wish to settle things now because you have chosen to live as Raven? There are some folks who took this old man seriously. So I guess I can't die just yet. But if I'm gonna live on, then I've gotta make up for what Schwan did. So a fortuitous encounter changed you. That's putting it a bit dramatically. But that's actually what happened. So, yeah. Anyways, we need to head to Mount Tensa. Right? Send of Corbon. Mount Tensa. Mount Tensa, okay. 
Uh, I think that was here, right? Oh, Temza. Never gets any easier, no matter how many times I come. Yeah, I know, Raven. Bad memories of the Great War? Yeah, there are those, too. Uh, what are you... Fire Lily. I mentioned I had a friend that liked this flower, right? Oh no, don't tell me she died here. My friend is here. Oh god. Why would you have a friend here? You mean a friend from the Knights? Some waste their lives while they're alive. Others waste their lives by dying too soon. Your friend died in the Great War. Yeah, humans. What a sad bunch. Oh, I didn't realize. Way better knight than me. Always use the family's famed bow. Man, such a brave knight. He was also a bow user? Never did find out what happened to that bow. Maybe it's still somewhere here in this field. Could be. Finding it would be pretty tough, though. <sighs> Thought maybe if I just bummed around, Casey'd get mad enough to come back, but, uh... <laughs> he didn't. That's so sad. Hey, hey, hey! Don't go getting all gloomy on me. What are you talking about? You're the one who started this sob fest. I, uh... Sorry. Anyway. Rest well, Casey. I know you're in a better place. Rest in peace. Hey! Something's falling out of the sky! Huh? huh? What is it? Oh, you gotta be kidding. Huh? So, what is it? This was Casey's favorite compact. What? But how? The ghost of your friend must be watching over you. Ghost? That's impossible. It was just a coincidence. Yeah, it had to be. You call this a coincidence? Like, maybe a bird picked it up and then dropped it by mistake. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Right in this instant when we came back here to bring her a fire lily. I don't think so, Rita. So, was this Casey friend of yours a woman? Woman? What? Oh, <laughs> a lady from the old man's past? Could be. Now, Rita, remember your blood pressure. Oh, come on. I want all the juicy details. Oh. Sorry, there ain't much. For starters, another guy already had his heart set on her. Oh. A tale of unrequited love, then? A love on war's fickle sea. A lady gone too soon. Oh, such a tragedy. Okay, that's enough. You guys go ahead and think what you like, though. Here's to you, Casey. I'm doing okay with these kids here. I'm doing okay. Compact of Rembrandt. Oh, Don't worry, Casey. I, I'm gonna- I'm gonna watch over him. You can rest in peace. Won't we run into another pile of trouble when the knights catch up and you're with us? I won't be laughing if we mess things up before we can deal with Alexei. That young woman knight will be difficult. What will you do about her? She's put me on too high a pedestal. I believe that a line can be drawn between good and evil in this world. And she thinks that you're the one who can draw that line. But reality is not so simple. Right. I hope she realizes that soon. I have a feeling she will. Sounds to me like she's got blinders on. Yeah, I think Applehead will catch on faster. Yeah. Yuri, you really shouldn't call him that. Witcher is an exceptional mage who represents the future hopes of Ospio. <laughs> Him? Hadn't you heard? I guess I just wasn't interested. Now that I think of it, I think he may have been more on the ball than the others. Even after our request for assistance expired, he continued to aid myself and other knights. He is earnest and dedicated. You care about your crew, Flynn? I'm sure you're a top-rate captain. Well, I don't really like them. The Apple guy is okay, but the Sophia or Zodiac, or I, I don't remember her name. But the girl, the girl is crazy jealous. Every time I'm around, she glares at me. Well, right on, she glares at Yuri. Like, he's her, her love rival or something like that. 
anyways, there's still something left inside this area, which I'm going to kill off right now. As you can probably already see, since I'm on easy, I should be able to kill it, right? Right? Please don't make me regret this. Please don't make me regret this. Magic lens. Yeah, 49. Should be, should be possible. I need to get rid of that skill. Come on, don't be like this. There you go. Come on, you, you. Don't shoot lasers. What are you? Are you a Uvelta or something? After all, you do have the wings. What's up with all those fatal shots? Look at all those fatal shots I can use. Crazy. How much HP do you have? Oh, still a lot. Okay, not so bad. Come on. Don't do this to me. Overlimit? You? Sure, do whatever you please. I'm just gonna use some Azure. Shooting it like nothing. Come on, I'm not even that close. No, he is raging a little bit, but that's fine. I'm just gonna do this. Oh man, he's not even that bad actually. Even though he looks like a really painted ass to deal with, he's not really that strong. Oh, look at it. I already could use another fatal strike. If he let me close to him. There. I didn't. There we go. Oh! Let me just poke you to death! That wasn't too bad. I know, right? We need to cook a lot more with Paddy though. 600, 600 different dishes. Good work. Yeah. Get some rest. You did well. Huh? Who are you talking to, Carol? Ah! Don't startle me like that! I I'm sorry. Did you hear that just now? Yeah, we heard it. You talk to your sword? It cuts better when I do that. Actually, we just won this battle because I gave my sword lots of encouragement before. Oh, really? You talk to your Whatever weapon? Whatever floats your boat. Well, that was unexpected. What? Nothing. Thank you for all the work you do. We can't wait to see how well you perform next time. It must be tough having such an unreliable owner. You're the only one we can count on. Um, uh, good luck next time. Wow, thanks, guys. I'll bet my attack power will double in the next battle. Don't get carried away. Huh. Well, it would be nice if it actually helped. Like, seriously. Oh, well. Now that we are done with Mount Temza, the next spot is going to be... Uh... Miozo. Miozo. Where was Miozo again? Wait up, Miozo! You giant jellyfish! Let me enter you! So, and here we need to go to the elder's house and <laughs> clear another warehouse! Are you kidding me? I don't want to do anymore! How many are there? What the hell? Just what the hell? Oh, no, even more skits. Seems Yoda understands your feelings, Flynn. If His Highness has got your back, you've got no choice but to charge forward. <clears throat> yes, I shall not disappoint him. I didn't think he'd order you to go with us and stop Alexei. Why not? That little prince. I thought he was just a softie, but he's got sharp eyes. Idealism alone won't get you very far, but if he can make clever moves like that, He'll be a fine emperor. We'd all be in trouble if he couldn't. An eye for the big picture, the ability to use the right people, and noble intentions. A full package like that is pretty rare. Don't worry. I have faith in Yoder. <laughs> anyway, Yoder told us to take you with us, so I hope you're ready for back-breaking work. Of course. 
I shall not waste his highness's favor. Good. Then let's go. So, but before we go there, there's something in the elder's house we need to check. And then, and then, we have a speed up version of the war house again. Yay! Right? <laughs> uh-huh. Greetings, elder. What were you grumbling about? Oh, you've returned. Look what I found when I was cleaning my dresser. Oh, what? You had a sword in your dresser? You had a sword in your dresser? Hey, but this is... That looks like a really dangerous weapon. This isn't just any old sword. It looks like, you know... Yeah. No kidding. Not so much the shape, but the vibe it's given off. Really? Just what kind of sword is this? I was hoping you would ask. If memory serves, it is one of the seven fell arms of legend. Seven fell arms of legend. You mean the weapon spawned by the 14-headed monster from the fairy tales? Hmm. I don't know how the story is told below, but here the legend is as follows. At the height of the ancient Blastia civilization, an attempt was made to produce special weapons. Eventually, this led to the creation of armaments of untold power. Seven in total. So these weapons are a legacy of the ancients. Well, De Nomos is real. Maybe this story is too. Could be. Is De Nomos one of these fell arms then? I'd say it's possible if what the Elder said is true. But if this really is one of the fell arms, why was it in your dresser, Elder? I can't remember for the life of me. It's been decades since I've cleaned this thing out. What? You haven't cleaned out your dresser in decades? I don't know what to say. If these weapons are really as powerful as they sound... And he just stored that thing in his dresser for all those years! It might be a good years. idea for us to get a hold of them before they fall into the wrong hands. Oh. Yeah, there have been quite a few sets of wrong hands out there lately, too. Might we take this with us, Elder? Huh? Oh, fine by me. You're giving it to us just like that? To tell the truth, I'm glad it turned up. But I'd been wondering what I'd do with it. Well, I've nothing. Got no real use for it. Besides, it would be a shame to just leave something like this lying around. But if it's dangerous, it should try to seal it away. I figure you are just the ones to put it to proper use. Do you know anything about the other fell arms? Let me see here. According to the legend, the seven weapons share a common bond. Oh? If this is truly one of the fell arms, it may react if brought near the others. Oh! But Deinomos hasn't reacted at all. So that means Deinomos isn't one of them. Hmm. Then perhaps it isn't a fell arm after all. Then how are we supposed to find them? Well, there's no point thinking it to death. So long as we have one of them, the bad guys won't be able to get them all, right? True. Maybe that's good enough. Nah, we're probably going to find all of them. I agree. All right then, Elder. We'll take it off your hands. We are going to find Thanks. all of them. 100%. Hmm. Abyssion. A sword red as blood. The blade is filled with rage. How do you know that? Also, what kind of weapon is it? Does it have something for me to learn? Absolutely nothing, but it's already stronger than my current weapon. That's interesting. Uh, now there's only the warehouse left to do. Oh my god, what a fun. Hello. Wait, what? It's not the thing? Is my, is my note incorrect today? Could it be? Am I saved from the stuff? Wait, 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 I wanna buy something. Uh holy bottles and uh magic magic land yeah magic lens and of course I need some food in order for Patty to cook a lot of stuff. After all she needs six hundred dishes. This is going to take a long time to complete. Especially if uh I should probably start trading, actually. Yeah. Then it wouldn't be that bad. Oh well. Why did I write warehouse down? If I already did it. I mean, that was the warehouse, right? Yeah. There's no quest. Just 
strange. Oh well, maybe there's an arrow somewhere. Unless... No, it should only be one warehouse, right? Yeah, there's nothing else beside of that. Oh well. I think... Yeah, this is a good point to make a little cut. In the next part, we're going to continue our search for side quests. Because we are close to the end. And then... We see what's going to happen, right? Until then!